why does it seem that men, and specifically Muslim men, have a problem with feminism? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Amin with Sarah Masters developing your mindset for success, the Muslim's mindset for success. Now, as you know, on this channel, I talk about a broad, broad range of topics, some of them being related to just how you think about yourself, your mindset in yourself. Other stuff is about, you know, career, getting a job, studies. Other stuff is about society and serving the world and um, how do you think of yourself in that role and all of this stuff. This video is about the society part of it, okay? Because really, we're all in the society, we all affect the society and the society affects us. And you know, this whole thing of feminism and thinking about gender and the roles and all of that stuff is very, very important. And it's something that you know, back in my Twitter days, I used to talk about it without knowing really how to articulate myself. And that probably made my opponents um, feel like there wasn't a good argument for my opinion. Since reading a few books, it allowed me to put it into words, okay? It was, it's the same thing I was thinking, but it's like more, I can communicate it easier. And so eventually I want to put those ideas out there. But for now, I just wanna address this topic why does it seem that men, and specifically Muslim men, have a problem with feminism? Okay, let's just dive straight in. What is the problem that we have with it? I have a problem with feminism, what is it? Okay, feminism states the general idea, right? Because there are many different feminists, but the general idea of feminism is that men and women are the same, okay? Physically, they might not be the same, but they're the same in here. And any differences in here are only because of kind of cultural and societal norms and pressures. And there's nothing here which is naturally different, okay? And so that's why a woman should be able to do whatever she, she wants, you know, that's, that's allowed, that's okay. And a man should be able to do what he wants, which is okay, right? So a woman could be a firefighter, she can be in the army, she could be the breadwinner. And a man, he can, you know, be a, I don't know, beauty makeup guy. He can be um, a nurse. He can be uh, work in a, what's it called, kindergarten, all that stuff. There's, there's no gender roles, basically. This is what feminism is. In fact, it, it shouldn't be called feminism. It should be called anti-gender roles, pretty much. Um, now, what do, what do men have? The, what's the problem men have? The truth is that deep down, we are different here, okay? And that we have something called a fitra. Obviously, non-Muslims don't believe in really in a fitra, in a natural disposition. They think you're born, you're like a canvas, and then everything else is ingrained into you. We believe you have a fitra. We believe that, or I'm saying this, I'm not speaking on behalf of Islam. I believe you're born with a fitra. If you're a man, you have certain things that is natural to you and as a woman you have certain things that's natural to you and in fact psychology research and studies actually prove this and there are some good books on that as well point is there are roles because we're different we have different roles and so a man's role you know traditionally and even today let's be real is to be um, the protector the the breadwinner the caregiver etc now, when feminists come along and they say, actually, that's not your role, you don't have a specific role. That's basically what they're saying. So it's like, imagine you've got a job. Your job is, um, I don't know, you, you are a journalist, you write stories, okay? You write stories. Someone comes and says, actually, you don't have that job. That's not your job to play. Now what, now what are you? You're redundant, you're fired or whatever it is. Yeah, you're redundant because that position is no longer in existent, right? How does that make you feel? You've got no importance anymore in the company. They say, hang around in the company, okay, but you don't have a job. Just, just be there, that's fine. You could be there, but it's not your job. Jobs give us purpose, they give us a role, they give us importance, okay? And so when feminists come and say, actually you're, role, Mr. Man, is non-existent. You just do whatever you like. Basically, just try and be happy whichever way makes you feel cool, good. You don't have this role of, you know, you do this and you do this and the women do this and this and you kind of work together. No, no, 
you're at war, basically, you're at war. So the problem men have is that their role is being taken away. Now, they might say, oh, they should just get over it. Oh, that's just their ego. No, no, I'm saying this is the natural instinct that men have a certain role and you shouldn't take it away from them because it's built in them, right? It's going to make them feel unfulfilled if you take that away. And women have a role and you shouldn't take their role away from them because, again, it's going to mess with them and they won't feel fulfilled. So in short, the problem that men have with feminism is that it takes their importance and their role out of the world, right? Simple as that. That's a problem that we have. Um, and also I've touched on some topics here which uh, we could dive in deeply, right? But I don't feel like it's the right time. Um, you know, such as what is feminism, what is gender, blah, blah, blah. Do we have roles? What is the fitter? We could dive into all these things, right? Um, but this is my stance and I think, you know, if you're, if you're neutral and you're just looking from the outside, you can say, yeah, I get that. You know, I understand that we need jobs, we need to feel important. We need some kind of focus of this is my role and that gives us importance, it makes us feel satisfied and stuff, you know? And then someone might argue, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, someone might argue, well, th that's not their role anymore to be the breadwinner, for example. They could take on another role. Well, my argument to that would be that no, they have a naturally given role. You can't just change roles, right? Um, and we could go deeper into what's happening these days. But point is, that's a problem that men have, and uh, I don't see it going away unless you get rid of the fitter or the natural disposition, which you know a lot of people are really trying hard to get rid of. But inshallah, you know, as Muslims, we got to really understand the fitter. We got to go back to nature, really, literally, as in the physically go to nature, and also, you know awaken ourselves to how things really work naturally before we get involved and go back to that a bit um, because I think that helps a lot in how we think and how we really connect with Allah and the Quran and how we understand what the Prophet ﷺ was trying to do and that's why I love studying psychology and human behavior because it's all fitra right it's all about how we program really so thanks for listening hope I didn't go too deep um, but this is just the, the uh, discussion happening really, so it's pretty relevant. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Drop your comments below, I suppose. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.